What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. It is Wednesday. That means a brand new video for you guys. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. So have you guys always wondered how you can create this really nice disintegration effect that you always see how it's so easily done, how you don't even like properly know how to do it in Vegas Pro 18 because you think that there is like not such an easy way as how to do it in After Effects. Well, guys, I actually found the solution how you can create a really, really cool and also buy a really simple method to create a really really nice disintegration effect all right so before i'm gonna go into the actual effect itself there are a couple things that you need to know before you're gonna shoot this video so the first thing is that once you are going to go out and film this video whether that's inside or outside you want to make sure that you put your camera onto the manual settings on the white balance and the iso i'm meaning like the brightness so if you're gonna put everything on for example on automatic then of course if you're gonna go outside for example the shots are not going to look as clear because if there's for example a sun shining beneath the clouds and it's making the shot like darker or brighter that's going to basically mess up your shot and it's not going to look equally make sure that you will set all the settings properly inside or outside that is everything is lighted enough just so you guys can avoid like any kind of weird like you know color changes throughout the video and that's what i did as well like no matter where i move when i move and how i move the actual lighting will stay the same because everything on my camera right there is set on manual so the next thing that you need to do is don't touch your camera at all once it starts running so you want to do everything in one take meaning that it's like talking like this or when you're going to walk outside of the shot because you need yourself right here in the screen for example just like this but you also need a shot when you're for example walking out of the screen and that you will have like a nice blank shot of only just the background without you out of the frame just so you can put your mask over it onto an empty background because you actually need an empty background on both options guys so the first option is to mask yourself out and then place your mask on top of your image where you're not in the screen and then for the second option you're just going to use this transition onto the clip itself instead of a mask just to make that disintegration effect appear onto and into the actual shot without you anywhere in the screen these are just really really important points you guys need to keep in mind if you're going to go and shoot this to get the best result so make sure to just film yourself right here like this and then also have like for example five or ten seconds with your camera on manual with all the settings and just walk outside of the screen let your camera running that you just have nice a clean background where you can put your mask over so the next thing that you need to do mask yourself out I'm just gonna cover everything in the video of itself but this is basically the effect we'll be talking about today All right, guys, so that is a really, really cool effect. This effect was used in the 2018 film Infinity War Avengers, where somebody is like, you know, getting disintegrated in some sort of like, maybe like brownish particles slash dirt kind of effect. It's really, really cool and really simple how you can do this outside of After Effects. You can just use Vegas Pro. I'm not too sure about like, I'm not too sure about Movie Studio. I have to look into that and maybe I can make a future about Movie Studio disintegration. So this is what the effect looks like. So I would say now you guys know what I'm gonna cover today. Let's move on with the video. So if you guys are excited for this video and if you want to learn how to create this really, really cool disintegration effect in Vegas Pro 18, then make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. And if you wanna see more of these Vegas Pro 18 tutorials every single week on the channel, as well as different videos about how to grow on YouTube, the best video editors, the best video converters, the best audio softwares. Then make sure you stay tuned for more content. And I would say let's start creating this really, really cool disintegration effect right after after the intro. Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, right here I have of course the two clips where I'm sitting on the couch and where I have a still photo or you can use a video from the background without ourselves in the frame. So that's what we also need. So these are the two assets we need in order to create this really, really cool effect. Now we're going to start off with the first option, which is basically that you have to go and mask yourself out. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to right click on this track and we're going to duplicate it. So the next thing you need to to do is you need to move up the frames where you want the effect to start 
I'm just gonna go frame by frame that. So I think this one looks very, very nice. So then you need to go and split it right here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna group these clips. So I'm gonna also split this one. Then I'm going to hold left control. Then we're gonna click on this audio track, this and this video track. So then we're gonna press G on our keyboard. That's basically going to group or clips. Or you can also right click and hit group and then hit create new. These clips are now just one. So if you're gonna start cutting in it, as you can see, everything will follow along. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to mask ourselves out so what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity of the track below it so we can see only the mask and what we're doing then we're going to hit this event pan crop icon of the track that we want to mask at the top so which is this one and then we're going to click on mask at the very bottom and we're going to pick the anchor creation tool or you want to press d on your keyboard so then what we need to do is we need to make this screen actually quite a lot bigger because we need to accurately, of course, mask around ourselves. So now that we have this frame right here, we can actually go ahead and start masking ourselves out. So I'm gonna actually do this, you know, quite accurately. So I'm just gonna speed up some, like the clips and add in some music so you guys can see how it actually works. Okay guys, so I actually got done masking right now and as you notice there are a little less, you know, of these anchor points on my hair because you have to actually sit down quite a lot if you have, for example, really thin hair and you need to go through like really, really thin parts in order to make it look realistic. So now that we have done that, we're going to make this box a little bit smaller again. We have a really, really nice mask of ourselves. So now what we need to do is we need to save this file as a PNG, meaning that it's transparent. So I'm going to click on save snapshot to file on this diskette icon above the preview screen and I'm going to just call this mask and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to press U on our keyboard to separate these tracks and then we're going to both delete them and then we're going to drag in the background where we're not in the frame. So then we're going to drag on our mask and of course it's going to look a little bit more fake but it actually looks pretty accurate that I'm sitting right there on the couch but I'm not because this is of course masked out and if I lower this, this is what it looks like. So you want to have yourself separately from your background. So now what we need to do is we need to make a crossfade transition to basically the top clip where I'm sitting right here from the video to this clip. So now we're going to create a crossfade and then we're going to actually make the transition happen. So we're going to go to the transitions tab and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to S underscore dissolve views and then we're going to drag this one on top of the transition or this crossfade and let's see what it looks like. But we need to also lower the opacity of this mask right here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to adjust it because right here, the background is also blurring up, like with us and we need to only have ourselves instead of like the sides and the bottom. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go into this video effects menu where you can get to if you click on this button right here for the transition, transition properties. Then you need to go and pick the max amount. You want to drag that one down all the way to zero. So then you will actually see the difference and it's only me instead of like the background. And then you can also choose like the rel amount X and the rel amount Y, how you actually, how big you want this transition to be and how far you actually want to dissolve. You know, do you want to resolve like really, you know, like slowly and thinly, you can actually leave these markers quite a bit down, but if you drag them, you know, halfway up or higher, it will be a lot more wider. So this is what it looks like right now. So now if I put it, for example, a little bit more to the end, you can actually mess with these markers and see uh, what it looks like. So the thing is that it's really nice if you drag up the max amount a little bit, you can choose like how much you are actually disappearing in like powder. So let's play it back right now. As you can see, it looks that you're completely like exploding in a way, but it's a little bit too fast as well. So I'm going to drag this transition a little bit longer. As you can see right now, it looks really nice. So if I drag the max amount down, you will look like this. And of course, uh, the background is going to go with it. But if you put this one to zero, then it's only you happening. And you can also animate this. So if you click on max amount and it's on zero, what you can do is you can click on this animate button, which is going to open up this timeline. So let's say that you put the max amount to zero. Then we're going to drag this guy, for example, all the way to the end of the track. And then we're going to put the max amount all the way up. Let's see what that looks like. That's a really nice way how you can mask it and how you can create this really nice, you know, disintegration effect from the Avengers Infinity War and how you can actually get back to it is actually pretty, pretty simple. So how you do that is right here, we have, of course, the clip where I'm waiting a little bit before I start talking again. So I have time for that transition to be inserted. As you can see right there. 
So now what we need to do is we need to, of course, mask our position right here as well. So now that we have also done that, of course, we can drag in that mask too. So always put your mask on top right here and also stretch this photo so it looks like you're sitting on the couch right there. So now if I do it like this, this is what appears. And then you can, for example, make like, make like a fade out if you have, for example, certain shadows, a difference like that. So you don't actually don't see the difference quite a lot. So now if you have this fade out, it looks really, really cool. So the only thing you need to do is go and create a cross fade by going to this icon, which is at the top of the little clip right here until you see this line where it says fade in offset. Drag it on and then of course you want to drag in this S dissolve fuse again. And right here now, this is what it looks like when you appear and disappear. All right, guys, so that's the first method. Now, the second method is actually a little bit more simple. So how you can do that is if you delete all the masks right now, and if you only have, for example, the clip where you're talking like this, we're not going to use any masks whatsoever. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just create a crossfade from this clip where we're talking into this photo. So now we're going to drag it in right here and make a crossfade. Then we're going to drag in this dissolve effect again. So let's see what it looks like. As you can see, it actually works quite well. So now we're gonna, of course, bring down the max amount again, so it's only us. And then if you play it back, this is what it looks like. Really, really cool. We can also bring up these amounts just a little bit. And we can also animate it, for example, the opposite way. So let's click on animate right here. And then we're gonna put it all the way first up. And then we're gonna drag this marker at the end and we're gonna drag it all the way down again. So now let's see what the opposite one looks like. Looks really, really cool. And this is, of course, how you can also do it for the other one. So you can just create a crossfade into where you are talking right here. So if I make a crossfade from myself into the photo and I'm going to drag on the dissolve effect on it again, this is what it looks like. So now the only thing you need to do is put your marker in the middle of the transition so your screen is nice and blurry. So then you can right click and you can go to transition properties that will bring you this box. And you can of course bring down the max amount and you can just bring up the rel amount Y or the rel amount X or anything like that. And you can also mess for example with the wrap X to you know choose a lot of different settings and see what it looks like and how you can animate this of course. And you also have like if you want to crop it, crop right the top or the bottom. It's really, really cool how you can really customize this transition Oh, and by the way, guys, I quickly want to mention if you guys are looking for really, really cool effects, whether that's explosions, overlays, you know, 3D cars, 3D dinosaurs, subscribe buttons, music, sound effects, everything like that, make sure to check out this little trailer because I have something really, really cool for you guys. All right, so I just want to take a quick second to talk about Production Crate. This is not sponsored in any way. This is just from personal experience because I've been using Production Crate for almost three years now using their effects, their explosions, their lower thirds, their sound effects, everything that you can imagine is on the website and they're literally adding new stuff day by day. And actually on their Instagram, they also show you how they make it by using some really cool behind the scenes clips on their page where you can see like how they create the explosions and how they model like 3D stuff. It's really, really cool. So if you guys are interested in getting your high quality effects transparent without any backgrounds, make sure to check out the link in the description. Over 90,000 people have already checked it out before you. So make sure to go to the link in the description and become a member of the community where you can ask your questions about editing, about these effects. It's really, really cool to bring your videos to a next level. And of course, they're not only like lower thirds, but they're also transitions that I use a lot. Make sure to hop over to the website if you're interested. I would say, let's continue with the video. So those are the two methods you guys can use to make this really nice disintegration effect. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Now you guys know how to create this really, really cool disintegration effect in Vegas Pro. 18. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful, make sure to award it with a, a like down below. Also, subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. Thanks a lot for your continued support and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.